this episode of Huber Syndrome, the year is over? Hey everyone, welcome to the show. It is December of 2021. How did we get here? How is it December already? I don't know. You probably have a million games to play. Let's add a few more to the stack. All right, December 2nd, the day this show goes live, Solar Ash. From the creators of Hyperlight Drifter, Bloodworth has described it as Shadow of the Colossus meets Super Mario Galaxy. Those are some strong words from Daniel Bloodworth. You can check out his review for this game that just went up. And uh, Solar Ash, if you like Hyperlight Drifter or Shadow of the Colossus or Super Mario Galaxy, Give it a look. Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. Next on the list, December 3rd, Dongon Rampa Decadence. This is a package. Just wanted to give it a shout out. I love some Dongon Rampa. I have only played half of the first game, but I really liked my time with it. This pack actually contains all three games plus a new like bonus mini board game about some summer vacation or something. I don't know. Dongon Rampa, though, awesome visual novels. Give it a look. Have a safe journey, and please, please be careful. Next up on December 7th, the moment we have all been waiting for, well, many of you and many of the allies as well. After a minor delay from last month, you know, we, we mentioned this last month, but here it is again, Final Fantasy XIV and Waka. Endwalker is ending the Dark Seeker saga, the Infinity Saga. It's coming to a close on, uh, you know, chapter, what, one, I guess? This will be like chapter one, looking back. Uh, the entire story that began in Realm Reborn is kind of ending in Endwalker, you know? It is ending this story and starting another story anew. So a lot of you have been on this ride for quite some time. All of my love and hype is with all of you to enjoy Endwalker. The stakes are high. Uh, this is one of the hypest releases of the year. And, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll ride that jet stream, feel all the hype, hop into Eorzea and play a little uh, Heavensward. That's where I'm at, way back in Heavensward. So I won't be caught up, but you might see me uh, floating around Eorzea. The very next day, here to disrupt Godi's potentially Halo Infinite campaign. After a somewhat surprise release of the Halo Infinite multiplayer recently, hype is at an all-time high for this game now. Everyone is loving the multiplayer with the exception of the Battle Pass, but they're tweaking it. They just had a change today. Things are getting better for the Battle Pass out there, so that's, uh, that's good news. But this campaign, not launching with co-op, which, you know, kind of stings, but it's here. This campaign is imminent. We are days away from the next chapter in Master Chief's life. Really excited to see how the gameplay and the kind of the open world vibe of the new Halo all shakes out. High expectations this time around. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed, initiating nighttime protocols. Then next on December 16th, we got a couple games. First up, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, a franchise I've never really gotten into. I don't have much to say about Five Nights at Freddy's. I know it's huge with the kids out there and the franchise is still going strong. This one, instead of a pizzeria, we're at a mall, which is honestly a good setting for anything horror movie, alien invasion, rom-com, action movie, coming of age story. If it's at a mall, I'm in. You have to be careful out there. Some gunk's eating everything here. Then that same day, the gunk. From Image and Form, the geniuses behind the SteamWorld franchise, which if you haven't played, is honestly unacceptable. Go. Right now. 
Go do it. Go do it. Go play Steam World Dig 1 and 2 and Heist and Quest, please. But the gunk is a little different, not in the Steam World franchise that we know of. I don't think it will be, but you never know. Uh, you are on an alien planet cleaning up some gunk, and it just looks like one of the biggest budget games from Image and Form for sure. You know, Steam World Digs are more side scroller. Uh, this is a full on third person action game. So, so excited about the gunk, only because Image and Form is so consistent and SteamWorld Dig, honestly, one of, one of the greats. And that's it for the year, December 2021. A couple heavy duty hitters this month. Halo Infinite, always intense when a new Halo comes out. It's a moment, it's an event. And Endwalker, which, you know, for all the Final Fantasy XIV lovers out there, this is like the biggest moment of their lives. Damiani is, is counting down the seconds. Brad is counting down the seconds. Ben is frantically trying to catch up. It's, it's electric in the world of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, but we are Easy Allies, I'm Michael Huber, and I cannot believe that 2021 is almost over. We're gonna be taking a look back at some of, uh, the best of the year on Syndrome and on, uh, Goaty Awards early next year. So, still a lot to discuss for the year, but it's coming to an end. So, until next time, love and respect.